this for example. These are the controls. The lever on the left is the spark advance or retard. The next lever closest to you, the shorter yellow one, is a throttle. Forward is idle and back is faster. The next uh, little lever with a clothespin on it is the choke and the mixture control and you pull a little knob up for choking it and turn it clockwise to make it richer or leaner going the other way. Uh, two other switches, one controls the, the lights for the brakes whether they're on or off and the other one is an ignition switch and then there's a horn button, electric horn acquired by an Arcoa and the red large handled unit is the brake it's in the on position now halfway up back would be off that black handled lever is the belt take up for the transmission you push that forward and it takes up a pulley onto the belt so that it uh, can uh, move forward to uh, move this uh, in reverse you start it in reverse and this this crank will crank both directions the end on it goes in the hole like so engages in the and you can either crank the engine one way or the other way all right, we're going to back up a little bit here, and we're going to prop this up and see if we can't uh, start it for you. And the first thing we're going to do is to make sure the ignition is on, and I've got a, a battery switch to turn on first over the other side here. Okay, we now have electricity and we're going to, we've got the ignition off, we got the spark retarded, we're going to pull this up and choke it. Throttle is probably pretty good right about there. Okay, and the intent now is to crank it over a few times to prime the engine and then after that put the choke off, turn the ignition on and crank it once and it should start at that point. So we're going to just uh, crank it over a couple of times to get some mixture into the unit. Drop that back down, turn the ignition on, with any luck it'll start. See up front the yeah, you can see the flywheel turning in there. It's getting warmed up. We give it a little more fuel. 